Ready for a life-changing story all about keyboard shortcuts? When I was in design school, we took a field trip to one of the trendiest graphic design studios in town. I remember standing there in awe of the exposed brick and all of the creativity filling the space. I left the design studio that day with a golden nugget of information that I have used my entire graphic design career. There was this girl sitting at one of the computers in deep design mode. Her fingers were moving like crazy and she was designing so fast. But she was using keyboard shortcuts. While we were standing there, the art director actually pointed her out to us and told us and told us that he would never ever hire a designer who didn't know keyboard shortcuts. Yeah. That's how much time they can save designing. So from that day forward, I decided that I was gonna learn those keyboard shortcuts, especially if I wanted to work in a place like that. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kristen. And I share branding and graphic design tips, tricks, tutorials, and productivity hacks to help online entrepreneurs better manage the design side of their business. I'm always getting comments about my speedy design skills, and while they have come from years and years of design experience, there's no reason why you can't speed yourself up by learning some simple Canva keyboard shortcuts. So if you're ready to design faster, this video is for you because I'm gonna be showing you the Canva keyboard shortcuts that you need to be using if you wanna learn how to design faster. Here's a peek at where my hands are when I'm designing. My left hand is over here with my pinky on the control and my ring finger sits right around the Z button. My right hand over here is in charge of the mouse. Just about all of the shortcuts utilize this little group of buttons right over here, which means that your fingers are in easy reach. Come to the inside of my Canva account where I'm gonna show you these keyboard shortcuts in action. I'm going to pop over to my big long running document of pin templates so I can easily and quickly create a new set of pins. This is literally a gold mine for all of the shortcuts that I'm about to show you. I'm gonna go into this template and I wanna snag the background from it. So I'm going to grab the image and click Control C to copy it. To copy a selected element, hit Control with your pinky finger and then C with your pointer finger. You can also cut any element or text out of a graphic. If you want to cut or remove an element, hit Control with your pinky finger and X with your pointer finger. Back in my new template, I can simply click Control V to paste the image directly in place. To paste an element, hold down Control with your pinky finger and click V with your pointer finger. If possible, I like to add a mock-up of a lead magnet or free set of templates that I might be offering with my content. So I'm gonna snag this mock-up of pin templates to use in my new pin image. If I want to select them all, I can simply select the first one and then hold shift to select multiple items thereafter. To select multiple items, simply hold down shift and click through the items you want to select. Since I'm going to be moving these mock-up templates together, I might as well group them. To group all of the elements that you have selected, hit, hold down control with your pinky finger and stretch up and tap the G button with your pointer finger. If you want to ungroup items, hold down control and shift with your pinky and ring finger and then click the G button. If I want to repurpose this Pinterest image into, let's say, an Instagram post, I can select everything on this canvas by clicking Control A. To select all items on your canvas, hold the Control button with your pinky, and I use my middle finger to hit the A button. Then I can copy and paste it into any document to give me something to start with. Let's say I want to change the color of this button down here. To select an object that might be hidden behind another object, click Control and continue clicking until the object that you need is selected. If you make a change in your design and you want to undo it, click and hold Control Z. I use that one a lot. You can continue clicking Z until you're happy with where you are in your design. If you need to redo, hold Control Shift with your pinky and ring finger and click Z. To quickly add a circle to your design, just click C. If you want to add text, just click T. To add a rectangle, just click R. To add a line to your design, just click L. I wanna know from you, what is your favorite keyboard shortcut? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to start a conversation there. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification 
So you can continue learning how to design better graphics in less time alongside me. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye.